you see but you do not observe. The distinction is clear. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Good day, Constable. Is Inspector Lestrade here? Inspector Lestrade is back at... Mr. Holmes, you're still alive. I can tell that that displeases you. Oh, a faulty deduction for once. Lestrade, I have two suspects in our case, Jack Cole and Percy Fleming. Can you apprehend them? All right, Mr. Holmes, I'll give the order to the constables. Inspector, we have both suspects apprehended. There you are. They're all yours. No need to thank me. How can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Personalized thuggery. How novel. Expensive cigarettes. It looks like encrypted records. Well, that's rather tasteless. A spintria used in the brothels of ancient Rome. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. So, Jack the Hammer Cole, we meet again. Oh, why am I here? Don't pretend that you don't know. You're a suspect in the case of an attempt made on my life. Rubbish. Just like the old days, eh? Arresting me on suspicion. You've got nothing. Oh, no. How about the revenge for the trouble that I brought to your gang? And also your brother. Don't you dare mention my brother.
Your brother was hurt. It was a regrettable accident. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I can hardly be blamed for that. What? You bastard. You're the one responsible for him becoming a cripple. He was innocent. An accident, you say? Oh, I can't wait for the moment that you get whacked proper. Quad error demonstrate. <laughs> That's your proof. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. Do you know what happened at Baker Street that night? I do know, but I had nothing to do with it. And where were you at the time? I was at my tavern all night long. I see. I went to your place and I saw a man with a hair lip arriving to meet with you. What business do you have with him? Business? He's a regular customer, that's all. And what about the suitcase that your regular customer brought to you? What? What are you talking about? Why, the suitcase full of stolen silverware that I found in your secret room? What? How? You search my room. It's not stolen. I often buy a lot of different things and sell them on after. It's all legal. Oh. Oh, I believe you. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you, Percy the Dart Fleming. Huh. It's the flopper. Flopper? You're aware of what happened to Baker Street the other night. I'd say I'm a little luckier than that. Well, I don't give a fig. What were you doing two nights ago, around 1 a.m.? I was at the White Swan. The White Swan? The brothel that you own. That can't be counted as an alibi. What do I need an alibi for? Does the name Jeremiah ring any bells with you? It's the first time I've heard it. How about this threatening letter that bears your name? Oh, I remember now. A threat? Come on. Just a reminder for him to pay his debts. It's just a small one, and it's a matter of principle. How do you know him? Ah, oh, he's always coming around, begging for odd jobs. But he just talks rubbish. He's off his head. Do you have any business with Jack the Hammer Cole? I have. He sometimes provides my business with goals. But he's stupid. A hot-headed clown. Yeah. I'd be worried about him if I were you. Yes? He told me what you did to his brother, and... <laughs> well, let's just say he hates you. What's this note? I don't know. It was among your belongings. So what? Mr. Holmes? Please, escort this suspect for interrogation.
Tell me about the business that you have with Percy Fleming. What? I don't have any business with him. No? Oh. Oh, you supply girls to his institution. He's confessed. Well, he's a liar. Oi, why did you tell them I supply girls to your brothel? Eh? What are you talking about? Is this gonna take long? What's the reason for my arrest? This is an... Hmm, the text is encrypted. If it's Caesar's shift code, it might be easily deciphered. Elementary. It's a notebook filled with debts, and Jeremiah's name is on the list. Get into the cab, quickly! Follow that cab! I should find a way to get inside.
something move. There was a fight here. Orson attempted to resist, but someone or something convinced him otherwise. Ruby, Amethyst, and Emerald. All fake. Cousins out fighting bobbies and stealing antiques, and what do I get? Guard duty. Relax, my I heard something. I heard. Stop! Intruder! We need to get out of here. Lestrade, I'm glad you're here. What's happened, Mr. Holmes? We've come from the abandoned St. Patrick's Abbey. I uncovered a gang of armed bandits there who did their best to kill me. Again? I'll send our best team to arrest them. Well, I doubt that you'll find anyone left, but if you hurry up, you might just find the spoils left over from their burglaries. I see. And I'd be very grateful if you could keep an eye on Mr. Wilde here. But Holmes...
My archive. My archive. My archive. I can always consult with it if need. Thanks to Wild, my analysis table has been complete. While, please try to remember. Yeah, the slightest detail, etc. Well, apart from the smell of those bandits who kidnapped me, nothing special. And this Jeremiah was spending his time complaining about working for the fart. I think you mean the dart. Yeah, whatever. Jeremiah said that they should all wait till the fart was released. Uh, makes no sense, right? Mr. Holmes, I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to experience all of these superb sights and smells of criminal life. But I think I've had enough now. What was the reason for Jeremiah Thorne's death? Are you joking? Put your deductive skills to work. Self-defense, my dear Watson. Holmes, my dear friend, have you finished with your tyranny against me? <laughs> Can we go home now? No. Wilde, I know that you're obsessed with this idea of being me, most regrettably, it ended with your goal of taking my life, which I find rather excessive. You hired Jeremiah to do the most awkward part, my murder, and after that, you made sure to dispose of him. What? Are you a lunatic? That Jeremiah was a nobody. I'm the only one here who is able to save you. Yes, and apparently, you are mentally unstable. Therefore, you cannot be held responsible for this. Me? <laughs> Unstable? <laughs> I'm as fit as a flea. A really big flea. You will receive treatment at an ideal institution, then. Bedlam. Oh, no! You're just jealous! Jealous of me!
Mr. Holmes, I'm grateful to you for the opportunity to experience all of these superb sights and smells of criminal life. But I think I've had enough now. What was the reason for Jeremiah Thorne's death? Are you joking? Put your deductive skills to work. Self-defense, my dear Watson. That's quite enough, Wilde. I know that you were guilty of the attempt made on my life and of the murder of Jeremiah Thorne. Holmes, you're my best friend. Why are you doing this? Oh, stop all this. The case is solved. You came to my house for the sole purpose of taking my life. In addition, you hired Jeremiah to do your dirty work. And when you realized his failure, you murdered him to conceal any traces of the crime. There's no chance of you avoiding the gallows. Gallows? <laughs> Absolutely not. That would mess up my hair. Percy Fleming, you are charged with conspiracy to murder. What? You used Jeremiah Thorne in your little game because you didn't want your hands dirty. You're lying. Jeremiah spoke to me before he died of how you ordered him to throw the bomb and, after its failure, to abduct me. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. I think that it's perfectly clear. Attacking Mr. Sherlock Holmes is one of the quickest ways to be hanged. Nah, you can't do that. I'm an innocent man. Constable, take him back to the cells. Oh,